This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Hey photographer, Jessica Whitaker here, and in this video, I am bringing you behind the scenes of a beautiful photo shoot in a studio. Check the description box below for the full gallery of images as well as all of the gear that we used today. I wanna to thank my sponsor, Squarespace, for making this free video possible. A photo speaks a thousand words, but a polished and professional portfolio can get us those thousand dollar clients. Enter Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for websites and domains. Photographers, it's time to be done settling for slow loading websites with tedious plugins. I trust Squarespace's all-in-one platform to keep me booked and busy. Pick from one of their dozens of contemporary drag and drop layouts, host your custom domain and email with them, and even conduct successful email campaigns. Everything you need to run a successful photography business under their umbrella and at your fingertips. You can head to squarespace.com to begin your free trial and when you are ready to launch your beautiful professional website, you can go to squarespace.com slash Jessica Whitaker to get 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. Before we start with the video, I do want to talk about the lighting setup because it's not your traditional studio lighting. So this studio provides us with daylight panels and these daylight panels are really cool because they do emulate real daylight. Now in this session, Vanessa is going to be down in um, the tub basically, and these are set lower. But if we were doing portrait photography where she was standing up, and Vanessa's tall, she's like 5'8", you would need something else to fill in. Now, I did think that there were going to be other lights here. There aren't. So the next time, I will be bringing my own studio lights to fill in this. But I do have a reflector with me. And I also do have this little light from my vlog camera that I think will just cast a tiny bit of light that we need on the face. You're going to see that these lights do create a really beautiful daylight effect. We push them as far back as possible. Okay, so the way I have this set is where it's like I have it bent a little bit and then I'm hoping to like use that to reflect this. And, um, and I find that this is better to have it bent than this. Now this is non-traditional. I don't recommend using it, but I kind of do actually after this. Um, it's kind of a cool little gadget. I'll have it linked below.
Flight Photographer. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that you learned something. For the full gallery of images as well as all of the gear that we used, check out the description box below. Be sure that you hit subscribe so that you're the first to know when new free tutorials for your photography business come out. If you're looking to join a kind, encouraging, and inclusive photography community, come on over to Build and Bloom over in Facebook groups. This group is where you can share your work and ask specific questions, whether it's about gear or client situations and how to respond. I will see you over in my next video where I am sharing all of the best apps, tools, and programs to run your photography business from content planning to sending invoices. I'll see you over in that video. Bye.